Happy Get In Line Wednesday, y'all. It's your girl's the essence right here on the check-in, check-in, check, 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 check-in. That's right. This is the message for today and every day of my life. Hope everybody's having a good day. Who or what needs to get in your get in line this week? Who do you want to rant off on? Well, I have a few. Miss Wendy Williams. Boy, do I love you and respect you. But I don't agree with speaking someone else's truth. You can speak your truth, but when it comes to other individuals, let's not share so much, especially when you know that this person is in dislike of you, has a family, has an amazing career, and you're bringing stuff up from years ago that is very interesting, I must say. I had to tell myself to get in line because one, I didn't know about the incident. And two, it's with my man's in the Mr. Math. That's just one of the people she was speaking on. But my thing is, Wendy Williams, please get in line. You can talk about your truth. You can talk about things. But let's not speak of people's names because that brings in family members to get upset. It becomes disrespect. You know, let's let that go. All right. So when you're coming out with a book, a movie and all, just stay in your lane. Do what you do because we all know what Wendy Williams does. But if we cannot put so much name on who it is, that would be great. You know, she put somebody on blast, but then in her documentary, she didn't say the name of the person that disrespected her and raped her as a date rape, right? So let's try to get in line and not mention any names, Miss Wendy Williams. Also, our challenges. <laughs> I know they're for fun and the silhouette challenge is very sexy, I must say. But again, get in line, ladies. These things are made to be behind the doors for your man, why are we doing silhouette challenges so everyone can see what happens under a red light? You know, silhouette is beautiful. They're sexy. But is it really made for everyone to watch and see how you look in, in an intimate setting? I think we need to get in line, ladies. Let's, let's show them how we can cook a meal. Let's show them how we can empower. And don't get me wrong. It is a sexy challenge. And at times you do want to be sexy. And this is, this is, this is the thing. You want to be sexy and you want to show the side of you, but then you get upset when things are being said or you feel disrespected or you feel bullied or you feel that you're looked at as something that you're not. When you do these things, you have a decision to make. Do you want to put this content out or do you not? Is it important to show off this body part versus this? Some days you may be like, yup. Other days you may be like, oh no. And some days you'll be like, I don't really know. There's been times I've had pictures up that I've actually had to think about. Like, is this something that I'm comfortable putting up? Is this something that's going to take away from who the essence is? Is this something that's going to bother me when people respond? Because people respond. People respond. Um, it is being vulnerable. It is giving another uh, section or sector of your personality in your life on for everyone to see. Um, but if you're being bullied or you're being told things that you're not crazy about, then don't do it. All right. Get in line, ladies. Don't do it. Don't do it. And then cry about, oh, well, I wasn't doing it for attention. I, I was just doing it because I have, um, confidence now. And, and it took me so long to get confidence that now I'm just so confident and I want to do these challenges, but I don't want anybody to think different of me. Cut the bullshit. You are doing it for attention. We all do it for attention. It's just how much are we doing it for the attention? If you're a singer, if you have art, if, you're, if you have craft that you're amazing at, show that off. We already see what your body looks like. We don't need to see you twerking. We don't need to do, see you doing a sexy um, challenge, silhouette thing or whatever. You know, choose, choose and be about what you do. All right? So for the ladies, you young ladies that are looking and have confidence, you can hold that to a beautiful stature. You don't have to show off to let everyone know that you have the confidence. Because in the long haul, it's like if you have the confidence, then why are we actually doing this? Right? So get in line, ladies. Oh, I can go on with that one. And my last thing is when you put a prayer in, at times I have to get in line. I think 
currently I have to get in line. When you put a prayer in and a desire and you ask for it and you work hard for it and you finally get something that can present an opportunity for you, tell those fears to get in line. Tell those little concerns that will stop you to get in line. At the end of the day, tell yourself to get in line because this is what you ask God for. God is giving you or planting the seed and you need to go after it. So tell those fears, insecurities, all those negative notions in your head, get in line. And so next week, Shigo Diaz is right here on the Get In Line Rant. Love you guys.